Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yehuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, I got some truth. I got some Ruako filled words from Yahuwah. Gotta say it. Actually, Yahuwah has to say it. <laughs> I know some of y'all ain't gonna like it, but it's okay because it's Yahuwah. Yahuwah, I give you praise. I give you praise for your Ruach HaKadosh. I give you praise for Yahusha, your Basora of truth. I give you praise for your word made flesh. I give you praise for the words that you've given him. He has given me and I've received them and I've kept them. Not only that, Yahuwah, I believe the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh of the water and of the blood. Yahuwah, I received your witness in the Shamaim, Abba, the word and the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, there is none greater than your witness. Yahuwah, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise, Yahuwah. By the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah, I'm asking you to take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, I submit myself to the Ruach HaKadosh. I submit myself to the Ruach HaKadosh by which you have sanctified me. Yerabora you have set me apart by your Ruach. Hakadesh Yahuwah, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach, Yahuwah. I pray that no one is turned out of the way. I pray that no one is caused to stumble. Yahuwah, I pray that no one comes up lame in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, but that the Basora, the Torah of truth by the Ruach HaKadosh of truth would manifest itself. Yahuwah, I know that this is to those who have an ear to hear, and I'm praying for those that have an ear to hear to receive it. In the name of Yahuwah, Father, I pray in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Listen, we're listening to none other than John J. Tatum, the pastor. His CD is entitled, I Got Some Truth. Listen, I don't own the rights to this music, but I most definitely, unequivocally, absolutely have in the Ruach HaKadosh some truth, some absolute truth. And because of the Ruach in me, I move in love. And love speaks the absolute truth. Listen, listen, listen. This Torah of truth, this Torah guardian has to declare the Basura of truth because Yahuwah has told me to declare the Torah of truth. So listen, I got some truth. I gotta get it out, listen. I got some truth. I got some truth. I got some truth. The real truth. Hallelujah. Again, none other than the pastor, John J. Tatum. His CD is entitled, I Got Some Truth. Listen. And the, the, the song is entitled, I Got Some Truth. And I don't own the rights to this music. But listen, I got some truth. And in the Ruach HaKadosh and in the Yahuwah, Yahusha, if you receive this word, you are going to receive the basura of truth. So, let's go in. Listen, 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 listen. You have to recognize the need to be sanctified. <laughs> listen, listen. Listen, you have to understand the necessity of the sanctification. <laughs> Woo! 
listen, you have to understand that Yahuwah sanctifies by his Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, listen, listen. You ain't going to make it without his sanctification. He has to set you apart. He has to make you a part of his remnant, his family, his beloved. Listen, you have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. Sanctify them, Yahuwah. Sanctify them by the truth. Sanctify them. We're going in. Listen. We're going into John the 17th chapter. Listen, we were in John the 17th chapter. But Yahuwah said, listen, you need to continue to teach my people that they need the Ruach HaKadosh. Because the Ruach HaKadosh is the only thing that's going to set them apart. <laughs> listen. The Torah alone will not set you apart. No. The Torah alone will not set you apart. Being Hebrew and understanding your Hebrew culture, though it is essential in order to understanding where you are in the entire scheme of things, that alone is not going to keep you being set apart by the Ruach HaKadosh. That's what's going to keep you. Yeah, yeah. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be sanctified by the Ruach HaKadosh. The truth, listen, it, you can't, it's not, you, you can't be sanctified by the Torah alone. If it was possible for you to be sanctified for, by the Torah alone, Yahuwah would have not sent his son the Torah made flesh. He would have not put in his son the Ruach HaKadosh and he would have not given him all power in the Shamaim and the Aretz to do the work to establish you as elves in order to restore an order that had to occur, right? It was inevitable. It had to happen. He had to establish this, this sanctified order, this kingdom, right? And without the process, right there is no sanctification the Torah alone could not sanctify you Yahushua was the word made flesh but it wasn't until he went in and was baptized and received the Ruach HaKadosh that he began to declare the Torah <laughs> listen he was the word made flesh the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Even it was the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. Listen, the word alone does not sanctify you. It is the Ruach HaKadosh of truth which sanctifies you. And the word of Yahuwah that you meditate on cleanses you and keeps you. But listen... You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You can't even discern the Torah, the Basura of truth without the Ruach HaKadosh. Now you're going to be walking around here like Christians. <laughs> Thinking that you understand establishing doctrines and ideologies. You're going to be walking around here talking about you Hebrews and you keep the Torah. You're going to be walking around here talking about you Hebrew. You keep the Torah and, and, the, and, and the renewed covenant is not a part of the, 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, Hebrew life. <laughs> talking crazy stuff, right? Because you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. You're going to be, you be clinging on the strange doctrine. You're going to be caught up by every win, every, every, every teaching, every listen. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be sanctified. The Ruach HaKadosh sets you apart. That's why Yahushua said, this is the end game. <laughs> Listen, this is the end game. The Ruach HaKadosh is the end game. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to make it to the end. <sighs> to sanctify you, to set you apart. You ain't set apart just because you Hebrew. <laughs> yes, you are a chosen people. But listen, Yahushua is the way, the truth, and the life. You have to come by Yahushua.
right? Because the only way to establish a relationship with Yahuwah by the Ruach HaKadosh is through Yahusha. Excuse me. The only way to gain access into this family, to this kingdom, to this tribe, right, is through Yahusha's, Yahuwah's Ruach. The Ruach HaKadosh. That's the only way you're sanctified. Listen. Yehuka 9, 17 chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. Right? He says, he says, he says, right? He, he, he we, I'm going to recap the first few verses of that seventh chapter, of that 17th chapter. We have Yahushua Yehush, praying to the Father on behalf of the disciples, right? He's praying to the Father. He's acknowledging that Yahuwah has given the disciples to him, and he's kept them. He's kept them in the Basor of truth and the Torah of truth, right? He's giving them everything they need up until the point of which he is about to depart, right? right? So they're particular, they're, 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 they have the foundational groundworks to be the witnesses that Yahuwah needs them to be, right? Right. Like they have basically what they need, right? But they still need, right, to be sanctified. <laughs> they still need to be set apart, right? They still need to be sanctified. They still need to be set apart. They need to be sanctified. Listen, in this awakening, listen, you need to be sanctified. And the Torah alone is not going to sanctify you. The Torah alone is not going to sanctify you. It is Yahushua's Ruach HaKadosh. It's his complete witness. It's the Ruach, it's the water, and it's the blood. These are the witnesses in the arrests in you, in you, right? That causes you to be sanctified, that sets you apart from everyone else. You cannot have a complete witness with just the baptism. You cannot. You have you have people in the awakening that don't even get baptized. <laughs> Ooh, you have people in the awakening that doesn't believe in Yahushua, let alone his blood. Right? And you have people in the awakening that don't even understand or can conceive of the Ruach HaKadosh, right? They, they, they just can't get that part, right? Well, they have a word. They have a Torah. But the Torah alone is not going to provide Yeshua, right? It's the Torah made flesh, right? It's the Torah that had the Ruach HaKadosh without measure. It's the Torah that was baptized, that was, that was offered up on the tree whose blood was sprinkled in the, in the Shamaims on the altar in the Shamaims. It was this act of continuation of a plan that Yahushua had, Yahuwah had established in Yahushua in order for us to receive his Ruach HaKadosh that sanctifies us in the earth. Listen, what sets you apart in the Eretz is the Ruach HaKadosh. It's not just the name of Yahushua. It's not just the baptism, but you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh sanctifies you. It keeps you. Listen, no sanctification. No life. No sanctification. No eternal life. You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to. You have to. 
You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to understand Torah in the original covenant and how it is translated in Yahushua HaMashiach in the renewed covenant. You have to understand that the Basora, the Torah of the original covenant flowed into the new or the a renewed covenant and establish Yahushua HaMashiach's Basora of truth with the Ruach HaKadosh. Let's do this. 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 Right. Let's look at Joel. Right. Let's look at Joel. Let's look at Joel. Right. Matter of fact, let's 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 do this. Let's go to Acts. Let's go to Acts. Let's go to Acts two. Let's go to Acts two because Acts two. Well, let's go to action. Let's go. Let's go to Joel. Right. We're gonna go to Joel. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand, we're trying to communicate the idea of the Basora and the Torah as one and Yahushua HaMashiach's fulfillment of that Torah, of that Basora, meant that in order to be the sanctified of Yahuwah, the nation that he is calling in this last day, right? We have to understand how it was it was spoken of, right? In in the original covenant and how it translates into the new covenant, right? Or the renewed covenant or the reestablishment of what was original. Right, that had become broken, right? That Yahusha had to restore. This covenant was broken, right, in the garden. It was the original covenant that Yahuwah had made with Adam and Avah. He gave them one Torah. He said, don't eat of a tree. And then he told them, put the kibosh down. Be the kingdom of Yahuwah in the earth breathe the kingdom of yahuwah in the earth but they gave it up and they turned it over to hasatan who became the el of the earth yahushua knew at that time that yahuwah would have had to come yahuwah knew at that time that he would have to restore the order of the elves the order listen yahuwah did a test run I had to call him Kesra. When he when he established the people, he pulled the people out of Mitzrayim, right? He built the he showed you what he was doing. He showed you what the kingdom that is to come was to look like, right? It was a kingdom that had to be purified. It had to have people that were dedicated to Alua Yahuwah and his law, statutes, and commandments, right? They had to be a people that was not rebellious. Everything that was rebellious was put down. Everything that was wicked was destroyed. Everything that was contrary to the Torah was eliminated. He eliminated the men, the people of Belhor, Belpor, because of their wicked. Listen, Yahuwah established a kingdom. He established it with a people, a people that he has chosen to establish a kingdom. Right? He gave them Torah, law, statutes, and commandments. We forgot those. We, 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 they were taken from us, right? We were led to believe that this, 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 this Christianity, this Christian insanity, right? Which is a spawn of Hasatan and the beast system. We were led to believe that this was the truth. 
right? They took our Torah, our Besorah, and they made it into this, this Christianity that has nothing to do with Yahuwah's Torah, has nothing to do with Yahushua's Besorah, has nothing to do with his Ruach HaKadosh, it has nothing to do with establishing his elves in the earth. Yahuwah has a plan, and that plan was to sanctify a people again as they were originally in the garden to establish and to put the kibosh down on the nations that are in disharmony, that are in, in disruption, that are not obeying his, his Torah, his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. And you know what he did? He put his Ruach HaKadosh in us, his Besorah of truth in us, so that we could be living epistles. He has established us to be sanctified. Yahuwah, is, his plan is to sanctify his people, to set his people apart by the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, if you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, you are none of his. If you do not have the Ruach HaKadosh, you are none of his. It don't matter if you're of the tribe of Yehuda, Ephraim, Zebulon. Uh, uh, it don't matter. If you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, then you aren't his. If you don't come through Yahusha, Hamashiach, then you are not his. You are going to be lost. You are not going to be a part of his remnant. Listen, you cannot gloss this over. You cannot say, oh, well, I have the Ruach HaKadosh, and you don't have signs following. You don't have the evidence. Listen, you have to know that you have the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to know that you are sealed by the Ruach HaKadosh in order to, to be established in his kingdom. This is all about the king. The end game is the kingdom. <clears throat> the end game is to sanctify you, to put Yahuwah's Ruach in you, to establish you in his kingdom as else in the earth. That's the end game. That's the end game. That was the plan in the beginning to establish a, 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 a Lua kingdom in the Eretz under a diamond of vile. Right, they had the authority to put the kibosh down because they had the Basora of truth. They had the word that Yahuwah said, "Don't do this." And as long as they didn't do it, they were they were a force to be reckoned with. They were elves in the earth. They literally could subdue the the marine kingdom. All demons and devils, everything that has been cast down from the Shamaim to the Rets and under the Rets was under their authority. Now he's trying to sanctify you. Listen, Joel, the second chapter of Joel, right? Second chapter of Joel. Second chapter of Joel, where do I want to start? Let's, let's start at the, the 18th verse, right? The prophet, Yoel. Yo, he says, Then will Yahuwah be jealous for his land and pity his people. Understand, Yasharal and Yehuda, you are his people, right? Right? He has given you the wake-up call, right? Because... You were lost. You were lost. You had no identity. You had no understanding of who you are. You were constantly trying to be everybody else. You had assumed the identity of your slavers. You had a do, uh, assumed the identity and the culture of a people that were not you. You were called to assimilate and assimilated you did. 
and Yahuwah has woken you up. He is saying, listen, this is not you. This is not your people. This is not who you are. You are a people that are called by my name. Yasharal and Yehuda, you are a people that are called by the name of Yahuwah, right? You aren't like the other nations, right? You aren't like the other nations because you were the recipients of a Torah. You were the recipients of some commandments and some statutes, which was Yahuwah's test run in the earth. And he knew that you weren't going to be able to do it because he knew that the fulfillment of it was going to be in Yehusha Hamashiach after you received the Ruach HaKadosh. But yet he showed you what it was to look like. He showed you what it meant to be on top. He did. Under, under Dawid and under Shlomo, we understood because all nations were subject to us. Right? And all we needed to do was obey Yahuwah's laws, statutes, and commandments to abide in his basura, to keep his commandments, right? That's all we needed to do. But we couldn't because we didn't. And Yahuwah knew that in order to establish this kingdom, he was going to have to put the Ruach of him and Yahusha in us, sanctifying us tabernacling in us, right? Setting us apart from everyone else. The Ruach HaKadosh is what sets you apart. It ain't because you have the name of Yehusha HaMashiach. It's not because you have the baptism. It's because you have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's what sanctifies you. That's what sets you apart. That's the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Listen. Yehusha said he will, Yehua said, he will be jealous for his land and pity his people. Oh yeah, it's coming. But it's only coming for those who he has sanctified. It's not coming for all of Yehuda. It's not coming for all of Yasharal. If you ain't received this Ruach HaKadosh and you ain't sanctified, it ain't coming for you. It ain't for you. It is for you. But if you won't receive the witness, it ain't for you. You got to receive the witness of the blood. You got to receive the witness of the water. You got to receive the witness of the Ruach HaGadosh. You got to receive the witness of Yahuwah, the Abba, and the Shamaim. The witness of Yahusha, the Word, and the Shamaim. The witness of the Ruach HaGadosh and the Shamaim. You got to receive the witnesses. He said, yea, Yahuwah will answer and say unto his people, behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil and ye shall be satisfied therewith and I will no more make you a reproach to the heathen. Listen, Yahushua is about to, in the process of fulfilling this Basora, this Torah, right? He is. He is waking up his people. But listen, listen, Yehuda, you better receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You better receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You better obey Yahuwah's Torah. You better walk in his commandments. You better understand that you must have his Ruach. Coming for his people. His people. Listen. Yahuwah is going to satisfy his people. He is going to satisfy his people, right? With corn and oil. Shall they be satisfied, right? We're going to be satisfied with corn and oil, which means that he is going to give us exactly what we need to satisfy us, right? And we will no longer be a reproach to the heathen. Right. These other nations are going to no longer be a reproach to us. Or we're not going to be a reproach. No longer. This is to those who have received his Ruach HaKadosh. This is to those who have received his witness. He says, he says, he says, but I will remove far from the northern armies and I will drive him unto the land of barren and desolate and his face towards the east sea and his hinder parts towards the uttermost sea 
and his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things, right? Fear not, O land, and be glad and rejoice for Yahuwah will do great things. Listen, Yahuwah is going to judge the heathen and he is going to do great things in the midst of his people. Now listen, Yahuwah has a remnant of Yasharal in Yehuda. Yeah, he's got a remnant of Yasharal and Yehuda. You, you, you who ain't taking these swine eating diabolical uh, 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 weed smoking, uh, 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 drug drinking, alcoholic having anything that's Hebrew that's not sanctified. He, he ain't counting them. They, they ain't amongst the number. Sorry. Now, I ain't even sorry. It's just the way it is. It ain't happening. It ain't a it ain't a Hebrew. It ain't a get out of jail free card because you Hebrew. No, it's a get out of free because you're sanctified and have you who is Ruach Hakadosh. Then you get out. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then he's going to move on your behalf because you've received the witness, the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. And that's why I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you better receive the witness. You better receive the witness. You better receive the witness. You better believe in the baptism. You better be baptized. You better receive the blood and you better receive the Ruach HaKadosh. These three agree. These three agree in the arrests. This is the witness. You better have it on the inside of you. He says, be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the trees beareth her fruit, the fig tree. Listen, you who is going to set in order the nation's Yasharal, the territory, the place that he has selected for his people. He is going to sanctify and set that place to the to the to the to the tune of increase and in blessings and ain't no reason to be afraid of anything in this in his land right we ain't got to be afraid of beasts jumping out and killing us in this land listen we ain't got to be afraid listen he says be not afraid you beasts of the fields for the pastures the wilderness do spring and the trees beareth her fruit, and the fig trees do the vine do strengthen, their yield their strength. He says, Be ye, be glad then, ye children of Zion. Right? Be glad, children of Zion, right? Right? And rejoice in Yahuwah, your Alua, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, right? Excuse me, Yahuwah has given you the former rain, right, moderately. He has provided for you moderately, right? Yeah, yeah. He's given you enough moderately of what you needed in order to uh, 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 harvest some things, right? He, he's given it to you moderately. But listen, listen, right? He's going to cause... And will cause to come down for you the rain, the former and the latter rain in the first month. He's going to give you what you need. It's going to provide a yield for you that's going to supersede anything that you could have imagined because he loves you. Because you are sanctified. Because you're his. You have his witness, right? You have his Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, man of Yah, woman of Yah, listen, you are his because you have been sanctified and have received the witness and you have his Ruach HaKadosh in you, his seed. He said, the floor shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. Now, you who ain't doing this for swine eaters? 
You who ain't doing those for those who have not received the witness of you, Shemashiach? Yahuwah ain't doing this for you if you aren't the sealed. He's not doing this if you are not the chosen, the called. If you are not obeying his Torah, then this is not your word. If you are not made alive by the Ruach HaKadosh, if you haven't been quickened, right, by his Ruach, right, through faith in Hamashiach and his witness, this ain't for you. I don't care how much you speak Hebrew. I don't care how much you translate Hebrew. I don't care how much, you know, don't matter. You don't have his Ruach HaKadosh. This ain't for you. Listen, Yahuwah is talking about a place that is established for a people that he has put his Ruach in. Yahuwah is referencing a place by the prophet Joel that he is establishing his kingdom, right? And with a people who he has put his Ruach HaKadosh in. You, he has to have his Ruach HaKadosh in you in order for you to avail yourself of this. And you have to receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Listen, 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 listen. We getting somewhere. He says, listen. He says, And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Right? Which means that you are going to flourish. You're going to flourish. Right? You're going to flourish. You ain't flourish eating pig. Listen. You're not flourishing eating swine's flesh. See, see, in, in, in Christendom, right, in the Christian church, they have lamboozled you into believing that you don't have to keep the Torah, right? You don't have to keep the commandments, even though Yahushua himself says he obeys the commandments. You think Yahushua was sitting around eating pig? Do you think Yahushua was eating pork? Listen, there is no, there is no justification for the violation of Torah in Yahushua. Yahushua never put anything unclean to his lips. Do you think, you think it's okay to eat shellfish? You think it's okay to eat the things that are in the Torah that Yahuwah said not for us to eat as a people? You think that's okay? As a nation, as a people with whom he established a covenant with, right? You recognize and understand this. You think it's okay to do that? This ain't for you. That's why it ain't. That's why the Christian Christianity is, is an abomination. Listen, Christianity is abomination. The Basora and the Torah are righteous. But the spawn of what has developed is an abomination. Oh, yeah. Because the abomination tells you you can eat wine flesh, slay and eat. As if Yahuwah was telling Peter to eat unclean animals when he was specifically referencing the Gentiles, right? He wasn't licensing him to break the Torah. You think that this is an established pace for you? And you don't even keep Yahushua's commandments? You don't even keep Yahushua's Torah? And even if you do, you say, oh, well, you know, I don't believe in Yahushua or Mashiach, and I keep the Torah. I don't eat any unclean thing. I don't do any of that, right? But you're still in violation because you got to come through Yahushua or Mashiach. You're like the Pharisees. 
We have Avraham for our fathers. We have the law and the prophets. Yeah, right. We have the law and the prophets. That's all we need. We don't. We don't need this Yahushua Mashiach. We we don't even believe in Yahushua Mashiach. And that Paul, man, that Paul the apostle, he's an imposter. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't, we don't receive that word. Let's sin. <sighs> You better get a clue. You better get a clue because the Ruach, without the Ruach HaKadosh, without Yahushua's sanctification, oh yeah, you, you you done. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He says, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten and the canker and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and the great armies which were sent among you. Right? I'm going to restore you. Do you know how long we have been under the curse? And it's not until Yahushua Hamashiach's restoration of the order has it been lifted off of us who have received his Ruach. It ain't lifted off of everybody. He to say it again. It's not lifted off of everybody. It is lifted. It's not lifted off of everybody. It is lifted off of those who have received the witness of the Basora of Yahushua Hamashiach, the Ruach HaKadosh, the water, and the blood. It's the only, only people that will escape. It's the only one who will be restored. Because they're his. They have a seal. They have the earnest of the inheritance. They have the earnest of the inheritance. They have the earnest of the inheritance. Listen. He said, they shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahuwah, their allure. Because he's their Alua. Because now are they the sons of Alua. Now are they the sons of Alua. And Yahuwah, and, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahuwah that has dealt wonderfully with you and my people shall not be ashamed, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of your Yashraal and Yehuda, right? Ye shall know that I am in Yashraal and Yehuda, right? I am in the midst of Yashraal. You will know. The heathen nations are going to know that Yehu is in the midst of Yashraal and Yehuda. Listen, ye shall know that I am in the midst of Yasharal, and I am the Alu I am Yahuwah their Alua. I am Yahuwah their Alua. I am Yahuwah, your Alua, your Alua, and none else, and my people shall not be ashamed. My people shall not be ashamed. Now listen, now listen, now listen. My people shall not be ashamed, right? Now the events that are occurring in that portion, right? Follow the events that occur in the Acts 28 and 29. I mean, in, in Joel, the 28th chapter, I mean, the, the second chapter, the 28th and 29th verse. Right now, when you read it, you will assume that it's the byproduct, but in essence, it's what is before what happens. And it shall come to pass afterwards. I will pour out my Ruach upon all flesh. I'm going to pour out my Ruach HaKadosh upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. This is what he has done in Hamashiach. This is what he's doing again now. Because this is the truth. 
Yeah. This is the basura of truth that you're hearing right now. This is that which is spoken of by the prophet Yoel. Listen, and it shall come to pass. It has happened. 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 Listen, 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 listen. Peter, in the Acts of the Apostles, Peter, in the Acts of the Apostles, the second chapter, beginning at the 14th verse. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said, Ye men of Judea, And all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be it known unto you and hearken unto the words, right? The words that are spoken by the Ruach HaKadosh, right? Which has sanctified him. Right, in order to deliver a word of Basora to you. He said, Listen, for these are not drunk as ye suppose. Right? Like these, these, these people that you are listening to in your own language as they declare the Basora that I am declaring to you. Are not doing it because they are drunk, because they are moving in carnality, right? Because they are moving apart from the ruach. They're in their flesh. They're in their nature, their carnal nature. This is not that. This is not that. This is not what you see in Christianity. This is not that. Gurra Gesheta. Because if this was that, it would be a Shabbat keeping, right? A non Christmas tree Easter celebrating, right? All of these pagan ideas and our uh, 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 doctrines, right? Right? It's not that. This is, this is not that, right? This is the outpour of Yahuwah's Ruach on his people in this hour that occurred then that was prophesied by Yoel that is happening right now, right? Because this Basora of truth, this, this Torah of of truth that is coming to you by the Ruach HaKadosh is establishing in you the need to receive his Ruach HaKadosh. And not only just the Ruach HaKadosh, to receive the entire witness because you got to have the entire witness. He says, for these men are not drunk as she supposed, seeing that it is but the third hour of the day. Right? They ain't drunk. Right? He says, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Yoel, right? And it shall come to pass in the last days. In the last days. Right? It's happened in their time. It's the last days. It's happening again in our time. In the last days. Listen, this is a revolving wheel, right? This is the final time that Yahuwah is coming up. Oh, ye, listen, 400 years is over. The captivity of Yehuda is over. Listen, Yahuwah is, 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 is established his people by his Ruach HaKadosh. Those like me and those that, are, that, that understand what this Ruach HaKadosh means, he's preparing them for his kingdom. So what it means to operate in the kingdom of Alua, what it means to establish his laws and commandments, what it means to govern his people. Listen, listen, this is what has been prophesied. It's not what you see in the Christian church. It's an abomination. 
That's right, I said it and I say it over and over again. Abomination, 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 abomination. The scripture is abomination. It is not the truth. It is not the truth. It is not the truth. It has been filtrated with leaven. It's not a it's not an unleavened bread. It is a leavened bread. It is a leavened bread. It has leaven doctrines. It has leaven doctrine. The rapture is a leaven doctrine. The grace doctrine is a leaven doctrine. All of this other stuff that they have contrived is leaven inspired because there's no Ruach HaKadosh. Without the Ruach HaKadosh, there is no truth. That's what I think and I understand and I believe and I am going to establish a teaching, a doctrine, an ideology from it. No, this is not that. This is what was spoken of by the prophet Yoel. This is what Peter and the apostles preached. This is what I am called to declare to you today. You must receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. You must receive the witness. You better receive the witness. Cole. If you don't receive the witness, you you done. He gonna pound you into powder. Yeah, he gonna pound you into powder. Listen, 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 listen. He says, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Yoel, right? It shall come to pass in the last day, saith Yahuwah. Alua. Right, I will pour out my Ruach HaKadosh upon all flesh. Now listen, all flesh is not everybody. Because everybody is not going to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Only those who ask and he has chosen will receive the Ruach HaKadosh, right? But those who have the Ruach HaKadosh will receive and, re and see what that looks like. They will witness it because it will be a witness against them. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your men shall dream dreams. Your old men shall see visions. And on my servants and upon my handmaidens will I pour out my Ruach HaKadosh and they shall prosper. I mean, they shall prophesy. Excuse me. And I will show wonders in the Shamayim above, signs on the arrest beneath, blood, fire, and vapors of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before that great and terrible day of Yahuwah comes. Listen, they can't even get that right because you have to have the Ruach to discern that. You can't even discern that without the Ruach. That's the truth. Yahuwah has to have spoken by the Ruach HaKadosh in you in order for you to understand that and rightly divide it. That's why they got so many different movies and, and different things and things going on at any given time, right? Because they don't really know, but they have an idea, you know, they, you know, they... You know, they, you know, they, they talk to, they talk to, 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 to Ruachs, right? And they get their information from these evil Ruachs. But the evil Ruachs only know what Yahuwah has manifested to them. So they still reaching for straws. But see, we who have the Ruach HaKadosh, this, this thing ain't going to overtake us like a thief. We who have the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah knows how to gather us. Oh yeah, he knows how to gather his people. Because you are his. He has a place prepared for you. A place of wine and oil. A place of rain, former and latter. That's full of wine. Yahuwah has that for those who has received the Ruach HaKadosh. 
You hook it on the 17th chapter. You have to be sanctified. You, you, you have to be sanctified. Yahushua came to sanctify you. Yahushua came to sanctify you. Yahushua came to establish you as elves in the earth. Yahushua came to establish his kingdom. Yahuwah's kingdom. In the process, he's gathering his people. The establishing of his kingdom. Those who receive his Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah. He's gathering his people. Those who receive his Ruach HaKadosh. He's gathering his people. He's establishing his people in the Eretz. He is establishing his people. The people that are called by his name. Those who will humble themselves and and pray and seek his face. Yeah, he, he's establishing his kingdom. Who, 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 who will turn from their wicked ways. He's establishing his people. Yahushua says, Now come I to thee, 17th chapter of Yehuchanan, the 13th verse. He says, And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have joy fulfilled in them. These things I speak in the world that they might have joy fulfilled in themselves. Who? The disciples. Because see, if all they have to hope for is what they see, there are most men miserable. If by the Ruach HaKadosh, we can, if, if listen, we have to have established the Father and the Son in us, which gives us the capacity to receive a Basura and a Torah and to experience joy unspeakable. He says, listen. I have given them thy word, and the world hateth them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. He said the world hates them, because they hate me. I've given them your word, right? And the word hates them. The world hates me, right? Because the world hates the truth. The world hates the Ruach HaKadosh truth. The Ruach HaKadosh convicts of the truth. The Ruach HaKadosh in Yahushua was the Ruach without measure. Shoot, everywhere Yahushua went, the Ruach HaKadosh went without measure. When Yahushua spoke a Torah, Yahushua, wherever Yahushua went in the Ruach HaKadosh, he went in the Ruach HaKadosh without measure. And every word that Yahushua spoke, which was Torah, right, was super <laughs> conviction. <laughs> Woo, listen, Yahushua's word by the Ruach HaKadosh in him without measure that sanctifies that convicts of sin he says I have given them thy word thy Torah and the world hate them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world the world don't love don't love you when you're walking in Yahuwah's Ruach when you have his Besor of truth when you're keeping his commandments they don't love you they don't want anything to do with you. They don't. They don't love you. They don't love you. He says, I pray not that thou shouldst take them out of the world. Why? Because the Ruach HaKadosh in them and the Besorah of truth in them is necessary in order to convict the world of sin. Don't take them out. Give them what they need to to to. to to endure to the end. Give them your Ruach HaKadosh. Give them the comforter of truth. The Ruach HaKadosh of truth. He said, listen, listen, listen. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but thou should keep them from the evil. Yahuwah, they need to be the light of the world. They need to be the Ruach HaKadosh of truth and the Torah of truth in the world so that the world could be convicted of sin. Listen. 
Listen. They are not of the world. As I am not of the world. They are not of the world because you chose them. And then you gave them to me. And if you chose them, you chose them because they were not of the world. And then you gave them to me and I gave them the words that you gave me. And you are going to establish your Ruach in them. Right? Because he says, he says, sanctify. Through thy truth. Sanctify. Through thy truth. Sanctify. Through thy truth. Now listen, now listen, now listen, now listen again. Let's go back to the 16th chapter. Right? Let's, let's go back to the 16th chapter. Right? 16th chapter. 16th chapter, 7th verse. He says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. He says, sanctify them through the truth. He said, I'm going to tell you the truth. Right? It's expedient that I go away. It's expedient for you. Now, you notice he said expedient for you. Because you need to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to be sealed. It's expedient for you. Because you're going to need the Ruach HaKadosh in order to be elves in the earth. It's expedient for you. You're going to need the Ruach HaKadosh in order to be the witness that I need you to witness. And to, and, to, and to demonstrate by power, signs following, right? In the earth. You, right? It's expedient that I go. Right? Right? He says expedient that I go away. And you know, we looked at that word expedient, right? Right? Remember, we looked at that definition of word expedient, right? Right? The word expedient is... It's a means to the end. It's a means to the ends that I go away. It's just a mean to the ends. I, I, I got to do this. It's a means to the end. Because the end is, is you receiving the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? The end is, is establishing the kingdom of you on the earth. That's the end game. Sanctifying you. Sanctifying you. Sanctifying you. Sanctifying you. So nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It's expedient, right? It's 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 a means to the end, right? That I go away. For if I go not away, the Ruach HaKadosh will not come. But if I depart, I will send him unto you, right? Right? Ruach HaKadosh be sent to you, right? Now listen, now listen, now listen. How be it? How be it? How be it, right? When the Ruach HaKadosh of truth, sanctify them to thy truth, right? How be it when the Ruach HaKadosh of truth, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Sanctify to them to thy truth. Thy Torah is truth. Sanctify them. How be it when the Ruach HaKadosh come of truth, the Ruach HaKadosh is come, he will guide you into the truth, the Torah of truth, right? For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever things he heareth, that shall he speak. He ain't going to speak of himself. The Ruach HaKadosh ain't going to speak on his behalf. He going to speak what he hears the Father says. He is the witness in the Shamaim. Him, Abba, and, the, and, and Yahuwah, the word. Listen, he says, sanctify, Yehuqan on the 17th chapter, the 17th verse, sanctify them with the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Thy Torah is truth. Sanctify them with the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. And the Torah that you have in them is truth. Right? He says, and as thou hast sent me into the world, even so also I send them into the world. Listen, he says, for their sake, I sanctified myself. For their sake, I set myself apart. Right? I was baptized. I received the Ruach HaKadosh. And I 
offered up my body, my blood, for them. I sanctify myself for them. Now, they had not been sanctified until Yahushua had went into the Shamaim and died when Sheol was raised into the Shamaim, blood on the altar. Yahuwah says, okay, I'm pleased with you. Now, Yahushua can give you, we can send you to Ruach HaKadosh. You can be sanctified. You can be set apart in the earth. You can be my elves. You can be my representation. You can be the, the, the glory in the earth. The kingdom come. He says, for their sakes, I sanctified myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. That they may be sanctified through what? The Ruach HaKadosh of Truth. I was sanctified by the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth. They need to be sanctified by the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth. Listen, you have to be sanctified through the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth. Yahushua himself was sanctified by the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Yoel in the last days. He's going to pour out his Ruach HaKadosh upon all flesh. Those who the Father has chosen. All flesh will receive and witness the Ruach HaKadosh in you. Again, this, it ain't Christianity. It is not Christian insanity. This is not what this is. This is not what this is. This is Ruach. This is the Ruach HaKadosh in you. It is the Ruach HaKadosh in me. It is having received the witness of the Abba, the witness of the word and the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh in the Shamaim. It is us having received the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh, the witness of the Basora of truth, the, the witness of the water and the witness of the blood. This is that witness. 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 He said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And for their sakes. And for their sakes, Yahushua said. I sanctified myself. You witnessed to me in the earth. You declared that I was your beloved son upon receiving your Ruach HaKadosh. Coming up out of the water, having been baptized. You acknowledged from the Shamaim that I was your beloved son. You witnessed to me in the Shamaim. The Ruach HaKadosh filling me as the witness in the Shamaim. The Torah made flesh as the witness in the Shamaim that is now in the arrest. You got to be sanctified. You, 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 you got to be sanctified. You got to be sanctified. You, 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 you have to be sanctified, right? You have to be sanctified. You have to receive the witness of the sanctification. Let's look at Ephesians. Let's look at Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Let's, let's do this. Let's... Uh, Let's go to um, um, let's go to um, what was that just that? Let's go to Ephesians five. 
Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Uh, he says. Ephesians 5 and 26, I think. Yahush, in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, Paul says in reference to sanctification that the husband is to love his wife even as Yahushua Hamashiach has loved the assembly and gave himself for it. Right? He sanctified it. He placed his Ruach HaKadosh right? In us. So that he might sanctify Right? Listen. Ephesians 5 and 20, 5 and 25. He said, husbands, love your wives. Right? I mean, the command is to love your wives, but the idea is as Yahushua Hamashiach has loved the assembly. Right? As Yahushua Hamashiach has loved the assembly. Right? And gave himself Self for it, right? Yahusha, right? Right? He sanctified himself. He set himself apart. We just read that. We just, well, we just, we just, we just read that. We just read that. And, and you can on the 17th chapter, he says, For their sakes I sanctified myself, that I might also, that they also might be sanctified through the Ruach HaKadosh of truth, sanctified to the truth. Right? Listen. He says here that he might sanctify and cleanse by the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? The witness. Right? Sanctified. The water, the blood, the Ruach HaKadosh, the sanctification. Right? And cleanse it through the washing of the water of the word. Right? It is the righteous Ruach of Yahuwah and Yahusha of truth in us. Right? And it is the continual washing of the word of Yahuwah that continues to purify us. Right? But it's the water, it's the Ruach. It's the Ruach HaKadosh of truth and the Basura of truth. They are that which sanctifies. It's what sanctifies, right? It is. It's, it's what sanctifies. It's, 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 it's the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. It sanctifies, right? Let's go to First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, right? Right, the fifth chapter. That's where we're going to start. The fifth chapter. Let's start at the twelfth verse. He says, he says, and we beseech you, we beg you, we beseech you, brethren, right? We beseech you, brethren, to know them that labor among you and are over you in Adonai and admonish you, right? Know them, right? Be intimately acquainted with them, right? Know them, right? Know them 
who are among you, right? Know them, cherish them, discern them, right? Right? Know them, right? Know them, right? Know them that labor among you, right? He says, and esteem them very highly, right? Those who work, those who labor, right? And that word labor in the Greek means, that's what that word labor. Strong's G, 2872, Kapiao. 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 It means to grow weary, to get tired, to get exhausted. Those who labor, who put forth effort, right? Who labor bodily, right? Know them. Know what they do. Know how hard they work, right? And that admonish you, right? Those who admonish you, that word admonish me. Strong's G, 3560, Nuthateo. Nuthateo. which means to admonish, to warn, to exhort you, right? Know them who exhort you. Know them who exhort you, who admonish you, right? Know them, right? Who exalt you, who ignore, to admonish you. And to esteem them very highly in love. Esteem them highly in love for their work's sake. Right? Admonish them because of what they do, how they labor, how they work. Right? 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 How they work. And... Be at peace among yourselves. Be at shalom among yourselves. Identify people who do work, right? Admonish, encourage those that are exhorting you. He said, now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Warn them that are unruly. Comfort the feeble-minded. Support the weak. And be patient towards all men. Right? Now, these are, this is the assembly, right? This is the assembly. Right? Now, the assembly should be sanctified. The assembly should be sanctified. The members in the assembly should have the Ruach HaKadosh. And they should be meditating and developing themselves and purifying themselves in the Ruach HaKadosh. And in the Basura of truth. Because the Basura and the Torah are what purifies, what renews, what cleanses, right? Exhort. Exhort. What does that word exhort mean? That word exhort. Strong's G, 3870. Parakaleo. Par Parakaleo. Parakaleo, right? To call to one side, right? To summons, to address, to speak, right? In a way of exhortation, to comfort and instruct, right? Right? To exhort, right? To encourage, to instruct, to teach, right? Teach, right? What is going on right now is instruction, exhortation, in teaching, right? This is what's going forth right now by the Ruach HaKadosh and the Basura of Truth, right? Helping you to understand the necessity of sanctification. He said, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, and be patient towards all. 
Be patient towards all. Right? See that none renders evil for evil to any, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all. Listen. You are sons of the Lua. You have his Ruach HaKadosh, his Ruach of truth. You have the Ruach of Yahuwah, the Ruach of wisdom and understanding, the Ruach of counsel, Ruach of might, the Ruach of knowledge, and the fear of Yahuwah. You have the Ruach. You have the Ruach with gifts. You have the Ruach. The Ruach with gifts, right? He said, see that none render evil for evil. You have the Ruach HaKadosh. He says, rejoice forevermore, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of Yahuwah, Alua, in Yahushua Hamashiach concerning you, right? He says, quench not the Ruach HaKadosh. Quench not the Ruach HaKadosh. Quench not the Ruach HaKadosh. How do you quench a fire? Strong's G, 4570, Spainami. 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 Spainami, right? To extinguish. To extinguish. Wow. So you mean it's possible for me to extinguish the Ruach HaKadosh? Extinguish, to extinguish, to quench. How do you quench a fire? By pouring water on it. How do you quench the Ruach HaKadosh? By allowing sin to enter into your life. You quench the Ruach HaKadosh. You put the Ruach out of this out. You suppress it. To be pressed. To, to be put out. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. He says, pray without ceasing. Rejoice forevermore. In everything, give thanks for this is the will of Yahuwah. Alua. And Yahushua, Hamash, Hamashiach, Yahushua concerning you. Right? Render, re, let none render evil for evil. Why? Because it quenches the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, this ain't rocket science. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. And then you have to be led by the Ruach HaKadosh. And then you can't quench the Ruach HaKadosh. He says, quench not the Ruach HaKadosh. Despise not prophecy. You quench the Ruach HaKadosh. Prove all things and hold fast that which is good. Prove all things by the Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh of truth is what proves. It reveals all truth. But if you quench in the Ruach HaKadosh, you have no method of reproving it. Reproving anything. Because the Ruach HaKadosh in you is quenched. Don't quench it. Walk in the obedience of the Torah. Keep the Basora, the Torah in your heart, meditating on it. 
hold fast to that which is good. Hold fast to that which is good. Abstain from the very appearance of evil. Abstain from the very thing that appears to be evil. Anything that gives the appearance of evil, abstain from it. Abstain from it. Listen. And the very allure of peace sanctify you with the Ruach HaKadosh completely. Right? I pray your whole Spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless. I pray that the Ruach HaKadosh in you will keep your nefesh and keep your body. The Ruach HaKadosh in you. Because that's what sanctifies you. Will keep you. Soul and body. Listen. You have the life of Yahuwah in you. You have the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah in you. You are else sanctified by the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen. Listen. Sanctify you that your whole body be preserved blameless. You don't have to sin. You who a seed is in you. You are sanctified and set apart. Right? And you can be preserved, blameless, until the end of Yahuwah's, Adonai Yahushua's appearing, at which time we will be changed. If you endure to the end and remain sanctified. Excuse me. Let's go one more. Hebrews. Right. Hebrews 13 and 12. Listen. Paul is talking about the sacrifice of Yahushua Hamashiach. Right? He says, let me see, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and read it. Start at the first verse. We'll get through it pretty quick. He said, let brotherly love continue. Be forgetful not to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware, right? And why would he say this to the Yahudim? Because Yahudim, you know, they, you know, we were a people who were a people amongst their people, right? And the strangers were the other nations, right? So he says, hey, 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 listen, you may have strangers that come to your door. Be not ashamed. Don't, don't, don't be, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, right? Entertain strangers, right? Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, right? 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 Whereby some have entertained angels unaware. Listen, there, there are people that Yahuwah may have that are angels. <laughs> They're strangers. You better watch how you treat Yahuwah's people. Yahuwah's that Malachim. Right? He says, remember them that are in bonds as bonds with them. Listen, remember those who are locked up. Right? Those who are locked up, who love Yahuwah. Right? Who are called up by his name. Remember them. Right? And would suffer adversity 
as being yourself also in the body. Because, you know, you got brews that are locked up. You got people that are locked up that locked up for legitimate reasons. But now they, they, they've converted. They understand that there are the people. And they understand that they need Yehusha Hamashiach's Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, don't forget them. Don't forget them. Don't forget them. Don't forget them. Right? He says, marriage is honorable and all, and the bed is undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, you will judge. Listen, he has a judgment awaiting for whoremongers and adulterers. Whoremongers are male prostitutes. Whoremongers, adulterers, those who commit sexual uh, 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 intercourse outside of marriage. Right? Marriage is honorable. Right? Uh, and then he says, let your conversation be without covetousness. You, look, you should, listen, if you have you as Ruach HaKadosh, you should be covered in anything. Oh, no, no, you, no, you, yeah, carnal. No, 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 no. Ruach HaKadosh in you doesn't give you the capacity to covet. He said, conversation without covetousness, content with such things as ye have. He have says, for I will never leave these conversations. So be satisfied with what you have. Don't be desiring something that somebody else has. Be satisfied with what you have. Listen, he says, so that we may boldly say when Adonai, my helper, I will not fear what men shall do. See, listen, that's something that I can say because I have you as Ruach HaKadosh in me. I'm sanctified. Listen, I'm sanctified. Listen, I'm sanctified. You, who is my helper? You, who is my helper? Listen, listen, listen. I was attacked in my body, right, with shingles in my head, on this side of my face, and on my eyes. Now, if you have ever experienced shingles, you will understand this is diabolical. And the pain is just excruciating. And then it's near my eye, so it's affecting my occipital lobe, and it's in my nerve endings, and it's running all up the side of my face and the top of my head, and it's only half the side, only the left side, right? Pain. I mean, like excruciating. Listen, 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 listen. When it started happening, I was praying, saying, you, something's going on in me. I just don't know what it is. He said to me, this too will pass. That's the word. This tool pass. That's why you see these scars, right? Right? And that's why a couple of days I went without a head covering because it was. This tool pass. That's what he told me, right? You have to know Yahuwah's word is true. I'm sanctified. I'm sanctified. I'm set apart. This too will pass. Yeah, listen. This pain was di this pain was diabolical, and it got to the point where listen, I had to receive a word, and then I had to go in and take authority over in the in the ruaco realm in order to get relief. Cause man, I wasn't sleeping. I didn't sleep for like three days, cause of the pain. Listen, 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 listen. You have said this too will pass, and he was right. This too passed. But listen, listen. You who is my helper? I will not fear what men shall do unto me. He said, remember them that have the rule over you and have spoken unto you the Basora of truth, the Torah. Remember, right? Whose faith follows, considering the end of their conversation. Listen to what they say and watch how they walk it out. Yehusha Hamashiach, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, the truth. That's, the, that's a Torah. Yahushua Hamashiach is the same, right? Yesterday, today, and forever, right? Be not cared about with diverse, strange doctrines, right? For it is a good for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, and not with meat, and have not that that have not profit them that listen, 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 listen. Don't get over caught up in all of these 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 doctrinal things that 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 you know that um that um that 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 kind of run in amongst the nation amongst the people. Listen, understand this. All you need to do is recognize that Yahuwah, right, 
by his Ruach HaKadosh is giving you everything you need and trust it, right? He says, for we have an altar whereupon they have no right to eat, which is serves and which serve. We have an altar, right? Yahudim. Whereof they have no rights to eat, right? Because they, you know, they can't because it's a, it's a priesthood. It's a, it's, it's a righteous priesthood which serve the tabernacle, right? For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is bought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin is burned without the camp. So he was talking about the blood. He says, listen, wherefore, and that's just the order of the, the, the order of, of, of the conduct of the priests as they are to deal with the blood that was sacrificed. He says, listen, he says, wherefore Yahushua also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood. Now Yahushua is witness. Okay, now you got to understand the witness is Yahushua's blood, the, the, the water, and the Ruach HaKadosh which sanctifies, right? It sanctifies, right? Sanctify the people in his own, with his own blood and he suffered without the gates. Listen. Only those that are sanctified are entering into his kingdom. Yeah, only the sanctified, only those who have received the witness. The witness in the Shamaim, Abbas, the Torah word, and the Ruach HaKadosh, and the witness in the Eretz, the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. Only those, only those will receive the witness. Only those, only those who will, who receive the witness will be those that are delivered, that are set apart. Listen, man, if y'all, woman, if y'all, you got to get this. You got to be sanctified by his Ruach HaKadosh. You have to receive this witness. It's the same witness that was in the original covenant. It's the same witness in the renewed covenant. It was the same witness that uh, the apostles declared, right? The men said, men and brethren, what must we do to be saved? What must we do to enter into this kingdom, right? And see, they've always had us believing that it was just this kingdom in heaven that we were looking to meek. We all, we just trying to, because that's, because, but see, that's the confusion of Christianity. The, the confusion of Christianity is this heavenly kingdom, right? That's the confusion. The confusion, the, the, the kingdom is the kingdom of, uh, on, earth, on earth. It's you who is establishing his kingdom in the earth. Got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why he has told me that you must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Man, if y'all want with you, that's all I have. You who in the name of Yahushua, I pray that this people would be sanctified through the truth, the Ruach HaKadosh and the Basura of truth, that they would be purified by the Ruach HaKadosh and the Basura of truth and the Torah of truth. Yahuwah, if they haven't received the Ruach HaKadosh, I'm praying that they would receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, I'm praying that this word would be made manifest in them, that it would, it would wake, it would quicken them, it would make them alive. Yahuwah, I'm praying that this Besorah would make them alive. This Torah, this truth, this word. Yahuwah, the words that you have given me, I've given them, and I'm praying in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach that they keep this Besorah, this Torah, and that it come alive in them. Yahuwah, your word is true. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called to greatness. Woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Listen, today Yahuwah has favored you. You better make sure you sanctified. And I ain't talking about what you see in the Christian church. Because they got it wrong. Yeah, I said it. You got it wrong. 
because it's not the Ruach HaKadosh. With that I say, <laughs> Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.